Hello everyone, it's your old pal Finny, and this is the Skippy Shorts Podcast. The very first episode, hosted by none other than me, Finny, the lovable fuzzball. Yeah, and I'm here too, Iggy, the freaking lizard thing that nobody likes except your mom. Your mom likes me. Are you talking about my mom? Yes. Your mom and all the listeners' mom. Are you saying that all the listeners come from the same mom? Yeah, I mean, they're all a bunch of friggin' brothers and and maybe some sisters. I don't know. Anyway, back to the show. Yes, so today we are discussing the topic that everyone's been wondering about. Where is my butter? Your butter? I, I don't think anybody cares about where your butter is. But I've been looking all over for it. I had some marbled rye, and I couldn't butter it. Because... Uh, because you have no butter? Exactly! How did you know? Um, (laughs) pretty freaking self-explanatory. I have a muffin. And you know what I can't do? Um, butter it? Oh my goodness, you should be a psychic. Um, I think you need to tell everybody what we're really here for. You mean you don't care about my butter? Not in the slightest. But... But if I don't have butter, how will I eat my Lucky Charms? Wait, you you butter your Lucky Charms? I don't butter my Lucky Charms. I just get 15 sticks of butter, melt them in the microwave, pour them into a bowl, and put in the Lucky Charms. Isn't that how everybody eats them? Um, no. What's wrong with you? How are you not, like, dead? I ask myself that every morning. Okay, listen, we, we need we need to find out where Skippy is. Oh yes, that is even more important than the butter situation. I I seriously I don't know where he is. I have been looking and searching high and low for my old pal Skippy, but I can't find him. Well, what have you been doing to try to locate him? Well, I climbed to the top of Mount Everest and I yelled out Skippy Did that work? Nope. Please tell me you've tried some other methods. Well, I have talked to a lot of Uber drivers. I get in the car and I say, Excuse me, Uber, take me to Skippy right away with no delay. Um, did that work? Not usually. I did get taken to a nightclub called Skippy. It was really weird. It was just a bunch of millennials running around smearing peanut butter all over themselves. Um, that sounds terrifying. It was. Millennials are so scary. Oh, oh, Iggy. Oh. I know, man. I know. One time I was walking down the street when they came out of nowhere and started beating me to death with some avocado toast. It was horrific. Oh, that sounds just like the absolute worst. Anyway, I really don't know where Skippy is. I know, it's just, it's very sad. Truth be told, we have not spoken in years. Well, I mean, what happened? Did you guys have a falling out? No, we used to text every day, every day. I would text him at 5 in the morning, and I would say, Are you up? And then at 5.15, I would call him and say, Skippy, 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 Skippy. Um, is that something he enjoyed? I think so. He would always yell my name really loudly, like this. Finny! Why are you calling me? And then I would respond, because I love you. It was our ritual. Um, I'm not so sure that he was enjoying that. I have no idea what you're talking about. He loves it. Now it's time for a segment we like to call Catching Up with the YouTube. Uh, who calls it the YouTube? I do. All right. Ooh, ooh, let's start with an Iggy video. I just love Iggy. He's one of my celebrity crushes. Um, first of all, I'm Iggy. Second of all, do you even know what a celebrity crush is? Of course. It's a celebrity you wish would crush you with a giant bulldozer. Oh, you know what? I will make that dream come true for you one day, buddy. Oh, joy. All right, just play the freaking video. Okay, let's watch a few seconds of this one. 
Iggy does the Lion King. Hey, Iggy, we need you to tell us the Lion King. The Lion King? Yeah. I haven't seen that crap since 1994 on VHS. Well, they're asking us to do a recap, so can you just recap it? Okay, here it goes. Wait, no, it, <laughs> you, know, you don't need to sing the song. Oh, I thought you wanted me to, like, you know, word for word, line for line. I loved the part where you were singing about piñatas. Yeah, no, literally, when I was a kid, I thought the lyrics were piñata, penguin, in a bada. 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 Yep, that's what I thought. Ooh, we should start a band. A band, a cover band, that only sings Disney intro songs that are in other languages. So, specifically, we would probably just be singing that song from The Lion King. Oh, man, we would sell out stadiums, I'm telling you. Stadiums! I'm not so sure. Anyway, I thought that was a great video. Hey, thanks, man. Let's talk about the mysterious voice in the beginning of the video. Do tell us The Lion King. Oh, what a glorious voice. Yes, that is the voice of none other than Jack Rain. Oh, Jack! Oh! We live at Jack's house. He feeds us every day. That's why Iggy is so nice to him. Oh, Jack! I love you! I love you so much! You better feed me. If you don't feed me, I'm gonna find you, Jack. I'm gonna stab you in the face in the middle of the night. You'll never see it coming. Ho ho ho, Jack. Just you wait. <laughs> um, anyway, there has been talk. I have been emailing Jack and Greg. Yeah, Jack Rennan and Greg Harrisburg are the two guys that started Near Far Productions and they found us when we were all living in a van down by the river and gave us jobs at their studio. Oh, I miss those van down by the river days. Those were some good times. Yes, they were. Anyway, I've been emailing Jack and Greg and there is a chance that they are going to make themselves known at some point. Yeah, I don't know why they never did. All those friggin' years making videos together and you think they would have shown up in one, just the two of them, talking about life and videos. But no, it was all about secrecy. Hiding behind the camera. Well, there is a huge chance that Jack and Greg are gonna do a live stream and answer questions from the fans. Ooh, that's exciting. And maybe while they're live streaming... They won't be paying attention, and I can sneak up behind Jack and stab him in the face! Iggy, I think a life of crime has done some terrible things to you, and I'm hoping that with enough therapy, you can stab 20 less people every year. Hey, thanks, man. It's nice to know someone believes in me. Ooh, let's talk about the new video that came out today. It's called Cranky Old Man 1. Let's play a clip. <laughs> There, you bunch of whippersnappers. It's me, the old man your granny loves. That's right. And I was just sitting back, chugging on a bottle of grape cough syrup. And I got the bright idea that I'd come out here on two of you and let you all know exactly I hate you. What? Uh, did he just say tube you? Yeah, he definitely just said tube you. Okay, first you're saying the YouTube, and then this guy saying tube you? It's a wonderful world we live in. Now, I'm I'm noticing something interesting about this guy. He sounds a lot like our friend Rufus T. Remember Rufus T? Oh yeah, let me see if I can find a clip of him. I'm gonna answer a few questions that came in for me on our new website. The first one comes from who sent it? Nancy Sandwich! Alright, Martha! Don't yell at me! This one comes from Nancy Sandwich. Rufus T, what do you like most and least in the world? Well, I can tell you what I like least is sandwiches asking me stupid questions. You're right, that guy does sound a lot like Rufus T. Yeah, where did we even find Rufus? Oh, I remember the day we found Rufus. He was standing in the middle of the nursing home, trying to set it on fire. Oh, yeah. And then Jack and Greg hired him. I remember he used to work together with Nancy the Parrot. Oh, Nancy, rest in peace. Or more like, rest in pieces. I'm still not sure that Rufus didn't kill Nancy. 
I'll say it ain't so. He probably turned her into a sandwich. Or maybe he ground her up into powder and traded it for Spanish doubloons. I don't know what happened to her. Wait, wait, wait. Nancy is a dude. Oh, yeah, you're right. Nancy is a dude. Yeah, that's a he. Trust me. Wait, how do you know? Uh, just, I, I don't know. Just, just trust me. Okay. But what kind of name is Nancy for a dude? That, that is obviously a girl name. Maybe it's short for Nansert. <laughs> Nansert? Finny, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with you. Me neither. And neither does my doctor. Anyway, I'm sure there's a reason, a very plausible reason, as to why this old guy, who has at this point remained nameless, has the same voice as Rufus T. Ooh, maybe they're brothers. Um, well, the cranky guy looks like a typical old white man. Rufus T., on the other hand, has yellow hair and flaming pink skin. Maybe he got a horrific sunburn, and that's actually the tragic backstory as to why he's so angry and why he tried to burn down that nursing home. Wait, wait, why would his sunburn be the tragic backstory behind why he tried to burn down that nursing home? Because after he got that sunburn, he wanted everyone else to feel as burned as he did. Uh, Finny, that is the darkest thing I've ever heard. Anyway, moving on. Before we close out this podcast, I think we should do a sketch. Uh, we don't really do that for podcasts. That's more of a video thing. No, come on, it'll be so fun. Oh, we should do that one skit that we wrote. No. You know, the one that Skippy never would let us do? No. Come on, it would be so much fun. No. Nope, making an executive decision. We're doing it. No. And now it's time for Fuzzball in Green, the cop show that you never asked for. Starring Fuzzball, a fast-talking weirdo who plays by his own rules, and Green, his lizard sidekick. Together, they fight crime and kick criminals in the face. It's Fuzzball in Green. Previously on Fuzzball in Green. I need a police officer. Somebody stole my marmalade. We will get right on that. All right, ma'am, I'm going to need you to... I'm a man. Oh, um, I I said what I said, all right, man. No, you clearly said all right, ma'am. Wait, everybody shut up. I'm about to blow this case wide open. What do you see, Fuzzball? Look there, down by the quarry. It's a giant man carrying a jar of marmalade. That's probably my marmalade. Hey, shut up. No one asked you. But... Let's stop that criminal. Well, my name is One-Eyed Joe. I'm just down by the quarry with my jar of marmalade. That's what I know. Stop, criminal. Yeah, you better stop or we're going to shoot you in the face. Or at least break your kneecaps. Hey, listen, my my name's One-Eyed Joe. I don't want no trouble. I'm just down here by the quarry. I like to come down here and skip stones. I was just carrying around this jar of marmalade on account of it's my dear Aunt Clarabelle's birthday. And she wanted nothing more than a plain vanilla cake frosted with marmalade. Just that alone is a crime against cakes. Well, I guess that alibi sounds about right. Hey, well, thank you very much. But wait, just one minute. What's that now? I happen to have your great Aunt Bertha right here. Uh, here she is. Say hello to Bertha. Hello there, it's me, Bertha. Oh, hey there, Auntie Bertha. Aunt Bertha? Yes? Would you say that you're a lover of cake? Why, yes. And if you were going to, let's say, have a cake? Yes? I just gotta ask. Uh, Yes? What kind of cake would it be? Why, everybody knows my favorite cake. It's chocolate. Dun, dun, dun! You don't have to do that every time something dramatic happens. I'm sure that they have sound effects for that. But it's so much more fun to do on my own. Well, it looks like we saw- Hey, wait! He's getting away! Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. 
Stop, One-Eyed Joe! We caught you red-handed and one-eyed. You'll never catch me, coppers. <laughs> Don't fail me now, tiny fingers. <laughs> My butt! Haha, <laughs> direct hit! And just like that, we put an end to justice. Get it? End? Cause you shot him in the rear end? That is the dumbest joke I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, my butt's so sore. Hey, it's me, Carl. Did you save my jar of marmalade? Yes, here it is, right? Oh, oh crap. That jar of marmalade was worth one million dollars. Was it really? No! Oh, well you know what that means. I'll go buy another jar? No. Tell him, Fuzzball. It means you're under arrest for lying to a police officer. Take him away. This seems highly problematic. Come on, it's 30 years in the slammer for you. Oh no, that sounds terrible. Wait, is there marmalade in the prison? Yeah, I think so. Well then, let's go. <laughs> What a beautiful ending to a beautiful story. I got a bowling in my butt. Can someone take me to the hospital? Oh, one-eyed Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Whiskers in Green. Did Rufus T. kill Nancy? We'll find out when Whiskers in Green take a look inside his fridge and find feathers in his sandwich. Yeah! That may have been the dumbest thing we've ever done. I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, you would. Well, it's time for the outro. Here we go. The Skippy Shorts Podcast is a brand new podcast. Yeah, and so we have no idea if anyone likes it, or if anyone will listen to it, or if people just think it's crap. So maybe let us know in the comments if you would listen to this crap. Because I don't know if I would listen to this crap, but maybe you would. Yeah, let us know. We want to make more. More content for your beautiful faces. And your beautiful kneecaps. Oh, there is no rarer beauty than a beautiful kneecap. Ain't that the truth, brother? One of God's finest creations. Anyway, let us know in the comments if you like this show, if you want to hear more from it, if you would subscribe to it on Apple podcast or spotify or anywhere else you get podcasts and like i don't know we're pretty good around here at answering questions so if you got some questions you want us to answer on next time's podcast maybe we'll do a segment where we answer questions and maybe we'll get some more characters on here i'm still trying to round up the old gang and i'm definitely most certainly trying to find skippy and i swear to you that i will not rest until I find him. Oh, Skippy. Oh, Skippy. Oh, oh, I love you. We're going to find him. The Skippy Shorts Podcast is a production of Near Far Productions. And I think it's a pretty good production. And it was productified by the guys at Near Far. And I want to give a special thanks to Jack Rennan for letting me live in his fridge. And I want to give a special not thank you to Finny to eating all of the food in the fridge. Oh, also, here's the word from Kermit the Frog, who also lives with us. Uh, 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 hi-ho. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, Kermit the Frog. Hi, Kermit. Uh, uh, hey there, Iggy. Kermit, will you sing us Rainbow Connection? Uh, uh, I would, but uh, Iggy broke my guitar. Well, yeah. I mean, Fanny wouldn't wake up yesterday, so I had to smash him in the face with that guitar. <laughs> Little did I know that getting smashed in the face with a guitar was something I would enjoy. Very much so. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's a that's pretty weird. I think I may need to see a psychologist. Yeah, you definitely missed the boat on that one, buddy. I think it's too late for you. Hey, guys, can I go? Yes, you can go. Uh, thank you. Bye, Kermit. Bye. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe is what all of the YouTubers say these days. I'm really excited to do this show with you. I'm really excited to go back to sleep. You woke me up. It's three in the morning. What's wrong with you? I love you, lizard man. I love you too, blue-eyed freak of nature. All right, everybody. Until next time, this is Finny. This is Iggy. And I'm the ghost of Nancy. Well, holy crap. 
We'll deal with that next time. Wait, we're, we're seriously just going to ignore this until the next episode? Yes. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to have nightmares tonight. I'll make sure you do.